Hello, this is the notebook and video for topic one in chapter four, equations of lines in point slope form. So the biggest question is how many pieces of information do we need to find an equation of a unique line? And that answer is there's going to be two things. And they can come in many forms. We're going to answer this question as we go in different scenarios. So point slope form um, is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This is very important. This is going to be, if we look at the bottom, our go-to equation for writing equations from now on. So basically, unless you're given the slope and the y-intercept, you're going to put it into point slope form first. So the where x1, y1 is a given point on a non-vertical line, and m is the slope of the line. So again, m is usually slope. That's what we're used to. If we look at our first examples, number 1 gives us the point 2, 1 and the slope of 4. Before we do that, I want you guys to rewrite the general point slope form equation up at the top. It's really important that you guys know this and constantly rewriting it will just help you memorize it. So our first example has a point and a slope, so that means we're going to point slope form. Let's start to write the equation. Um, the first thing I like to do is label x1, y1, and m. So we're going to do that. x1 is 2, y1 is 1, m is 4. Let's go ahead and start plugging in. y minus, that stays the same. y1 is the first piece of information we had, which is 1. So we can go ahead and plug that in. Equals m, which is 4, times parentheses x minus, and then our x1 value is 2. That's it. We're done. Let's look at that second example. So x1, y1, and m, label them. And then let's start to write our equation. y minus, our y1 value is 2. Our slope, m, is 5, 6, 5 over 6 times x minus. And then our x1 is negative 7. So we already had a subtraction sign, but that does not include the negative in the number. It never included it before. So when we write x minus negative 7, we need to change that to x plus 7 because subtracting a negative is the same as adding. All right, go ahead and do the U try on this page. Our next example is when we have two points. Um, this just requires one more step. We have to find the slope before we can put it into point slope form. So we know that y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and simplify. 4 over negative 4 gives us negative 1 as the slope. And here's where you have the choice. You can pick one or the first or the second point to use. For this example, I'm going to choose the first point. Plug them in y minus 5 equals negative 1 times x minus 2. We could have chosen to use the other point. Um, so that we have two solutions. So if I use negative 2, 9, I get y minus 9 equals negative 1 times x minus negative 2, which changes to x plus 2. Let's look at that second example. Again, find the slope. Negative, or negative 8 sevenths can't be reduced, so let's go ahead and pick that first point and plug it in. y minus negative 1 changes to y plus 1 equals our slope times x minus 3. If we use the other point, we would have gotten y minus 7 equals negative 8 sevenths x plus 4. All right, go ahead and do the U try on this page. All right, um, the, this is a different scenario. We want to write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form, so that's mx plus b. However, we're given two points, and neither of them is the y-intercept, so we have to do point-slope form first. So let's go ahead and find the slope. And now let's pick one of the points. I picked the first one, plug it in. And then from here, we need to convert it to slope-intercept form. Our first step is going to be to distribute. Get rid of those parentheses. y plus 1 equals negative 4 times x. Negative 4 times positive 2 gives us negative 8. And then the only thing in the way is that little plus 1 on the left. we got to move it over by subtracting it. So our final equation in slope-intercept form, negative 4x minus 9. Go ahead and do the U try. We have a couple weird examples. Um, it says write an equation in point slope form. However, if we calculate the slope, we get 0 over negative 5. Or if you guys recognize what I just circled, if we have two of the same y value or two of the same x value, we can do a little shortcut. If they both have the same y value and it's 5, the equation is going to be y equals 5. Pretty easy, right? Let's look at that second example. I noticed that both of the x values are the same. Well, if x equals 4 for the first one, x equals 4 for the second one, then x has to equal negative 4 for the entire line. No other x value can be there except for negative 4. Go ahead and do the U-try, and that will conclude this video.